Hello YouTube, this is Don from Dare to Be Creative and this is week number five for the Crazy Collab, the Coloring Crazy Collab with Poet Spice. So check out Poet Spice's channel. She's putting this collab together and you can go check out all of our channels. All the ladies that are in the collab are listed in the box below. So check out that links and check out what they did. And again, everybody's just doing whatever they feel like they want to do for the week related to coloring and they can use whatever medium they want to use and they don't necessarily have to make a, a project. They can do a process video. They can do tips, any kind of thing just related to coloring because our whole goal is to get us coloring again. Um, this week I decided to pull back out my Spectrum Noirs. And somebody asked about how I keep mine. I keep mine in those, um, what do you call them? Greeting cards. You've seen these at Michael's. The greeting cards, it's, it goes this way. Well, I just keep them in here. It's because I got this with $15. I got it with a 60% off. So whatever that is, half or seven, a little bit less than $750. So like $650. I hot glued the end pieces in there. So the trays can stay, but eventually they pop it loose anyway. But um, and I put my Spectrum Noirs up there. I hadn't been coming with them for the last couple of weeks because um, some of my ink is are going on some of my markers because I have used them quite a bit. Not enough, but to be you know just a couple of them, the ones that I use quite frequently. You know, some of them are getting a little light. And oh my gosh. Crafty Laura, I think it was, who put it on her page that Consumer Crafts had them on sale $5 a pack. So I went back and you get all of them. I think it was 180 is what the standard price was. You can get all of them for 60 bucks, All of them. So I went back and ordered me a whole other set. So it was cheaper than buying the refills because each individual refill of ink is what, like $10 for, per, per bottle? I mean per pen or something like that. So it was cheaper just to go buy the whole five, six pack five dollars so that was a sale i don't know i think it ends this weekend i think it ends on saturday or sunday so check out consumer crafts they had all 12 different sets six each for five dollars they're normally in ac moore's for 15 bucks when i got mine originally i got most of mine for 7.88 but for five dollars that was good if you spend 75 dollars then you get free shipping anyway enough said about that all right, really, um, what I did this week was I decided to play my Spectrum Noirs again. I just did a couple coloring, nothing fancy, but just, you know, playing around. I want to play with my little Colorista um, books. So this one is the Premium Marker Pad, and this one is the Wildflowers Colorista, and this one has the gold um, foil accents in it. And I showed this in a haul a while back, and they had that blank page that you use between each one of the coloring pages so your things don't bleed through and for some reason I was just in a purple mood so I did this one in purple shades of purple and hopefully you can see some of that full in there I think you can see it right there so anyway that was you know one of my colorings I did different shades of purple just playing around this one didn't bleed out the lines as much you know like the glitter one does it will go out of line because coloring across it is a little bit harder I wonder though when you color on these glitter ones for a period of time does it mess up your nibs I haven't had any problems but I wonder if you do like a whole stack of these would it like damage your nibs um, the tips of your pens so this one is the glittered paper and this one is called inspiring sentiments and again I showed this one when Michaels had these 50% off so I just colored the first one in here and again it's a whole bunch of different designs um, but this is the one that says don't quit your daydreams and again like I said this one has the glitter in it I don't know if that'll show up but it's a little it's not really hard but it's a little more challenging that like you can kind of see it there on that one it's easy to go out of the lines with the glitter when you rub it across it so you have to just be a little bit more delicate you're not really seeing as much of the glitter like all the letters and stuff are glittered I don't think it's picking it up as much but anyway so that one what I did you can see a little bit of the sheen there you go a little bit in that flower too you can kind of see it some but not as much but anyway that one's the second one I did and then of course I showed you guys the colorista um, coloring cards with the um, glitter in it that was the first one I did I showed you this one a couple of two weeks ago so I decided to do another one and then this one I just did in shades of yellow and orange so this is the one I did originally the first time 
and then this one. So they were my little three projects. So this card is ready. What you would do, because this one does, they do bleed through a little bit, which they tell you that. And that's very typical for alcohol markers to even bleed through 110 pound paper. I read that on the Spectrum Noir website. Um, but anyway, you would just put another, you know, piece of paper right here to cover that up. If that bothers you. And I would cover that up. So that is my last piece. So check out the other ladies and um, be inspired to make something, color something, use whatever markers, mediums you have. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. And thanks for liking and playing along. Hopefully do a video response to let us know if you decide to break out some of your color mediums, color crayons, markers, pencils, watercolors, gelatos, chalks, you know, oil pastels, whatever it is that you have, alcohol markers. Anyway, take care, God bless, and have a wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye.